Today's trekking will take somewhere between five and six hours depending on your fitness level. The journey from Pak Ding starts off very easy, following the Dukosi River Valley below and above and all around you are surrounded by rhododendron forests. There are several small villages along the way to stop for some food or drinks, like this one in Monjo. As you leave Monjo in the direction of Namche, you enter what is known as the Sagaramatha National Park. To enter you have to buy a ticket and fill out a form. You will need to show your passport here and provide a passport-sized photograph. Several times you will have to use the suspension bridges to cross the Ducosi River. Locals have decorated the sides of the bridges with prayer flags, although there is no need for prayers as the bridges are all made of steel and feel very secure. On the far side of this bridge is a village known as Jorsail. There are no shops after this village and it is advised to stock up on water and food. A short walk past Jorsail, there is a suspension bridge to cross and after this the trek gets surprisingly difficult. The walk to Namche is very steep and continually upwards. There is no level or downward walking. This section of the walk may take two or more hours. People of average fitness may find that they can walk for several minutes only and then need to take a short break to catch their breath. At this altitude your body will notice the lack of oxygen in the air. It will be especially noticed if you attempt things like running up a stairs or exert your body in any way. As you reach Namche you have to pass a police checkpoint. Here they will ask to see the ticket you purchased at the entrance to the Sagarmatha National Park. Namche Bazaar is the most important town in the Kumbu region, the land of the Sherpa people. This town is located at 3,440 metres above sea level. After the difficulty of the last day, you will feel the rest day at Namche is well deserved, but the idea behind the rest or acclimatisation day is to climb high during the day and then sleep lower. This will help your body adjust to the altitude more easily. The most common walk to take on the rest day is to the Everest View Hotel. From here on a clear day there are spectacular views of Everest. This walk should only take around two hours, leaving you plenty of time to explore Namche Bazaar. A market takes place every morning in the town centre. Many traders come from Tibet to trade here, on the far side of the Himalayas. Looking from a distance it looks like a second-hand clothes market with everything spread out on the ground, but in fact most of the goods you will find here are new imitation climbing gear. There is a big difference between the tourist prices and local prices, so if you want to buy something here and have a porter or a guide, get them to make the purchase for you. Almost anything you might need for the trek ahead can be bought on the streets of Namche Bazaar. Items like down jackets, sleeping bags, shoes, socks, gloves, scarves, suntan cream, lip balm, tissue paper, maps and water. Namche Bazaar has many internet cafes making it one of the few places in the region where trekkers can access the internet. The internet cafes connect via satellites and so the resulting connection speed is slow. The village also contains a German bakery, well known in the region for providing good quality western food, including pizza.